What is up guys, my name is Matic A. Trilliant, and welcome to another episode of What You Playin' for FreeMimoStation.com. This time we'll be taking a look at a little browser based game called Elvenar, published by Inno Games. It's a city building game, so if you've ever played a city builder, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. FreeMimoStation.com Elvenar is a fantasy city building game similar to games like Wartune or The Settlers. You've got two playable races to choose from, humans and elves. In my playthrough I only played the humans, so I'm not sure how much the gameplay for the elves differs from them, but I'm assuming the playstyle is very similar since the eventual goal of the game is to build a strong city. How it works? You build residences to increase your population, which you will inevitably gather attacks from. You build workshops to sustain your population and create resources for your economy. All buildings, with the exception of cultural buildings, must be connected to a road from your main hall in order for the building to function. If you for any reason build a building in a location you didn't mean to, don't worry, you'll be able to move it using the multi-directional arrow icon at the bottom of the screen. All buildings cost gold and supplies. You'll start off with quite a bit of gold, but after playing for a few minutes, you'll quickly realize it's a resource that doesn't come very easily. You need a lot of residences to tack to keep your gold supply up, but luckily, there are also quests you can do to obtain more gold. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I do not enjoy city building games. That said, do I think it's a bad game? Not necessarily. But it does give you ridiculous building or resource times for certain things. It takes 30 minutes to upgrade a workshop, and it takes an hour to gather a knowledge point. Knowledge points are something you need to advance your city's technology. You can, however, buy one with gold or negotiate it outside your city through scouting encounters and relics. And by negotiate, I mean you can either bribe whoever you've encountered with some gold, or try to take it by force. I wouldn't recommend taking anything by force if you haven't upgraded to the technology required to build an army, as that probably wouldn't go over very well. You can speed up your building and resource times by buying gems, which cost real money. You can make everything easier and quicker by spending real money on the game. And you can only increase your worker count by paying for them with gems, at least as far as I've seen. You need workers to build more buildings at one time, so running around with only one or two will make the game a bit more of a chore. Upgrading your main hall increases the maximum capacity of all the resources you can carry, including workers and gold. All in all, if you like city building strategy games, then you'll probably enjoy Elvenar. I can't say it really brings anything new to the table, but it's something different if you want to kill a bit of time. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Freemo Station, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.